Kingdom Health Purpose and Wealth Coach and founder of SharingTheBliss.com, where we take you on a joyful journey to holistic health, purpose, and wealth through programs to help you to soothe your soul, heal your body, turn your pain into power, and your purpose into prosperity. Well, I'm here because I wanted to give you a couple of raw food tips. I am endeavoring to go back to raw food again. And you know, it's been an on again, off again struggle since the two and a half years that I was raw. <clears throat> I mean, like straight up raw. <sighs> After I got healthy again, I just little by little started getting back into cooked food. And I'm telling you, it has made a major difference in my life. From the way I felt and looked after I got healed from raw food to to now, my waistline, my weight and my waist. So um, in general, I still look like I'm relatively small, but my waist has definitely padded from eating all that cooked food. I notice when I eat cooked food, my waistline gets bigger. And the more cooked food I eat, the bigger the waistline. So I have to wear things like this to give the illusion <laughs> of uh, still being slim. But the reality is, it's the waistline. Uh, uh, uh. So even my husband teases me. So, and I get that under wraps because... When we started dating, which was really 41 years ago, would you believe it? We told each other that we would always stay, you know, a healthy weight. Like we would never really get sloppy overweight. <laughs> it's been 41 years and it has not been easy. There, most of the time it wasn't too bad, but there were times when it was a real struggle, and like it is right now with the waist. And um, I mean, some of you may say, well, you know, what are you talking about? Shut up, sit down. You don't have any problems. But we're bio-individual. Everybody's different. Everybody has a different healthy weight. My healthy weight, I know, is it could be the weight I am now, but it has to be distributed in a way that is healthy for me. Right now, having that extra poundage around my waist is not healthy. It's not healthy for anyone. When your waist is thick, the thicker your waist, the, the more chances you have for, for uh, developing diseases like high blood pressure, um, diabetes and many other diseases really your waistline tells you if you're healthy or not and if it's not this if it's not um, the size that it should be for you and, and your body type then you need to do something about it it's not just vanity it's it's really about health so that's one of the reasons why I am endeavoring to go back to RAW. Another reason is because I'm going to be celebrating a very special birthday uh, next year. The end of next year, my birthday is in December, December 19th. So I have a, a year and a little less than a half a year, a year and a half pretty much, in order to get it together. I'm at the crossroads. Many of you are at the crossroads of your life. You can either go this the, way, the medical matrix and medication and just not being in control of your life, but having the medical matrix be controlling you. Or you can go this way and you can live 
a blissful life, a healed life, a whole life. And it doesn't matter where you are right now. You still are at the crossroads. So even if you are sick right now, you're at the crossroads. You can continue to go down the medical matrix rabbit hole with more and more side effects and more and more medication and losing who you are more and more. Or you can go down the, the wellness track, go down the, the road to wellness. And that means that you are eating as much high raw organic food as possible and you're doing all the sacred self-care practices you're taking care of yourself amen yes so in order for me to live out the rest of my life healthy and to be um, to set a standard that is really a very important standard for me and my life I have to get it together. I have to get serious again and go this route, right? Because, again, being the last living immediate family member in my family of my family of six, it's very important that I choose wisely what I do. I choose wisely the decisions that I make about my health and wellness, right? So now, I have a goal to to outlive everyone in my family because most everyone, even outside of my immediate family, uh, passed on early, earlier than they should have. So, yes. Now, getting back to preparing my food. So what I'm doing is I'm going to fast and clean out my body. So instead of just going straight into a juice fast, what I'm doing is I'm going to be eating raw food for a couple of weeks, and then I'm going to juice, just do straight up juices. So I've been preparing these wonderful snacks and dishes to keep me satiated and happy. And on Sunday, I made all these amazing treats for myself. One of the things I made was prosciutto ham, which is raw vegan prosciutto ham. And this is it. It's darker than what you would normally see prosciutto ham looking like. Prosciutto ham usually has that fat. It's very thin. It has a layer of um, like a, a, a fat on the edges, sometimes in the center. It's very thin though, like this. It's savory. And back in the day, I used to like prosciutto ham. So, sometimes you have a craving for something savory, like ham. And even though you may not even eat meat, you know that, that taste, that, um, that salty, satisfying taste. And that's what this is. Uh -uh. So good. <laughs> so satisfying. You'll never believe it. Look at that. It's kind of red, which may throw it off a bit because it's red. But the red is from beet juice. So, can you guess what it is? Can you guess what it is? It looks so good. Eggplant. Slice the eggplant very thin, and then I soaked the eggplant. I kept the skin on mine because I like the crispy edge. And basically, I just juiced a beet, two beets. I added some olive oil, some Bragg liquid aminos, and that's it. I let it soak for about, I let them soak for about um, 20 minutes. They soak pretty quickly because eggplant is very, uh, you know, absorbing. And then I put in the food dehydrator and dehydrated it until uh, they were like shiny and almost looking like jerky. Mmm. I love this stuff. It's so good. So good. So. 
So I made that for the first time. I'm going to have to put that in my updated cookbook because it's delicious. You will be happy. And then I also love these. These are cauliflower, pieces of cauliflower that I add olive oil, nutrition, nutritional yeast, and sea salt to and put it in the dehydrator. Not too, too long. Soft, so they, they soften, but they're still kind of chewy. Delicious. Oh my gosh. And this is good with my soaked, uh, what do you call it? My couscous. Now, the, this couscous does have wheat in it. So, you know, it's a transitional food. It's a transitional dish. But for now, it's, it's fine for me. So I make it with vegetables. I cut up, I chop up the vegetables, mix that in with the couscous. And I use some dressing. And I have this recipe on one of my older YouTube videos. So I can eat the couscous with this cauliflower, but I also made raw collard greens. So I can also do the raw collard greens with the couscous. I made two jars of Coach Carmen's dressing, my big salad, you know, you got to have your big salad, and I did some jars of juice, and I did all this on Sunday so that I can have, you know, be off to a really good start for the week. And believe me, something about this food, you don't need a huge plate of it, you get full. So it lasts for quite a while, and because it's dehydrated a lot. Um, you still have to refrigerate it because there's still some moisture in some of the food, but basically, it's fine. It will last for you know the week, which is awesome. I turned off my air conditioner so that you can hear me, and so New York City is very hot today, and I'm sweating. So basically, I just wanted to invite you to join me on this journey to detoxification through fasting and I'm going to be talking to you more about fasting and why fasting is so important and even today it's, it's really even more important and I also want to talk to you more about sacred self-care you know we did the 21 day sacred self-care journey I have the group still on Facebook and you are welcome to join that group uh, it was a free 21-day journey, and we are coming in there, me and Denise the, um, from Diva Pilates and Wellness, and encouraging the women to continue the sacred self-care journey because it's a journey that should never end. It's all about raising your frequency. It's all about um, attracting, being a magnet for miracles and blessings and bliss and protection. That's what sacred self-care is about. So, yeah. It's exciting. All right, beloved. That's it for me today. I'm sweating, 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 but it's all good. I had a beautiful workout this morning at Silver Lake Park. Left the house at 6 in the morning, and it's about a 40 to 45-minute walk. So, it's quite a bit of a workout. All uphill to this beautiful lake, Silver Lake Park. And I did my abs, I did my, um, my incline push-ups, squats, then I did all my different leg lifts, uh, five, different, uh, five different exercises, and each one of them were four sets, were four sets of ten reps. So, and then I, you know, did some spiritual reading, uh, Jesus Calling, my favorite so, devotional um, book. Yeah, then I walked back home and took a hot, amazing, sacred bath. It was amazing. All kinds of salts, and I needed it because it helps to pull out the lactic acid. So I'm not going to keep you. That's it. I'm just excited. I'm excited about where God is leading me and taking this journey of self-care and really focusing on you know, uh, raising my frequency so that I can align myself with the Holy Spirit in a, in a deeper, more profound way for miracles and blessings and bliss. <laughs> okay, that's it. God bless you. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. 
Ready to heal your emotions, transform your body, and pursue your purpose? Then join me, Coach Carmen, at www.sharingthebliss.com and grab your free Get Started Now gift bundle. Among other things, it includes my spiritually enlightening seven-day mini course and some of my most popular, amazing raw food dessert recipes. Look forward to seeing you there.